Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flitter Mouse. Today we're going to be shooting marbles out of a shotgun. Many people have wanted us to do this, so we're going to hit it hard. Now for most of these, I use just federal target loads. Cut off the top. I had to trim the pedals of the shot cup a little bit in order to get the right fit. And then I put an overshot card on it just to hold it all together. Some of these are also made out of cardstock. This marble is traveling around 1600 feet per second. He actually hit the trigger on the rat trap, but for whatever reason, it did not set it off. Let's try it again. Now this marble did not fly as accurately as the first one, and he didn't even hit the trigger yet. There goes the rat trap. This was filmed at about 3,000 frames a second with the Kronos high-speed camera. Oh! Now this shot was much more accurate, and oddly, the glass marble did not even break after passing through 52 cards. Thank you, Matt V, for sending us that deck of cards, by the way. And yes, we all miss your videos Post something, dang it! I was hoping there would be a little bit of propane left in this cylinder, but nope, doesn't appear to be. Now, in this shot, the glass marble did not go all the way through, but it left a pretty good sized dent on the back and actually split the container. <laughs> on this shot you'll see that the overshot card is still kind of stuck to the nose of the marble and yes that marble was spinning through the air because we are using a fully rifled shotgun there we go <laughs> I want to thank Danny for bringing out his one pound gummy bear. That's a real gummy bear, folks. Notice how the marble did break after passing through that very thick material. Thick as in really gooey. And the wound did actually close back up afterwards, so it's good for some more videos. Oh! Knock, knock, knock the, uh... Knocky. Knocky, knocky. The million dollar question, can a Nokia, 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 however you say it, phone stop a marble? Yeah, it can. It can actually stop it. Actually, the battery is really what stopped that marble from passing all the way through. And once again, we see that overshot card somehow stuck to that marble still. That's, that's weird. This shot was filmed at about 8,800 frames a second with the Kronos high-speed camera. <laughs> wow, I think it shattered. <laughs> now, I just wanted to see if the marble would bounce off the steel plate set at about a 45 degree angle or shatter. Well, now we know what happens. Now again, the overshot card stayed on the marble until that point, and whammo, right in the teeth. And of course, the marble passed right through the styrofoam head without even breaking. And then uh, he loaded up some special rounds because we knew everybody was going to want two or three. Can't get any more than three in there. But. Uh, we're going to see what uh, what happens when we stack them up. See if they'll crush first or uh, if we can get all three to go down range. The, the shell with two marbles in it. Oh! That had a good thump. 
Oh! Because there's so much acceleration occurring inside the barrel of the shotgun, 10,000 Gs of acceleration, the glass balls pretty much shattered when they were slammed against each other. Okay, I'm ready when you are. All right, triple ball. Triple ball, hit it. Freeze the crowd. You. And again, we had major shattering going on with three balls. Looked like maybe two of them kind of survived there, though. And yeah, we had a big eruption of shattered glass dust flying. We were far enough away that we weren't breathing this stuff, so don't freak out, guys. And no, we did not forget the clay block this time. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> And we did not forget to put the camera behind the target. I want to thank Danny for creating that very cool Lexan camera guard. That thing worked out great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you enjoyed watching it.